Hello all, this is a quick video that I'm going to make. This is a siphon that I saved out of the scrap pile, with the owner's permission of course. And it is quite an abnormally large, well-made one. I suspect it's probably from the Valveless Siphon Company of Kirkstall. But the only problem is, this siphon was actually cut off at the end, so we need to... Find a replacement piece for it. Now, naturally, this sort of work will only sort of go as planned if you've already got a collection of antique siphons. But yes, this is one that can be repaired, shouldn't have gone in the scrap pile. And first things first, wear your PPE. You have to wear your PPE for getting the blowtorch out. Okay, got a glove on at least. Now the next thing we're going to do is heat up the end for four minutes. It does take a while but patience is important. Ah, hold on. Something's caught me off guard a little bit here. Oh no, no, that's just the solder drying off. So this is a good sign to continue warming that up. Fred should be frayed, and we use the grippers to undo the end, like so. Right. Yep, here we go. And as you can see, this isn't even threaded. It's literally just soldered on at the very end. So now we have an old antique siphon which can now be reused. But the next job is to find a similar replacement piece for it at the end. If you are sort of struggling with... Well, I mean, if... Rare occasion that a siphon has generally broken or is damaged, always salvage end pieces off them because you don't know when they need them, but unfortunately the end pieces will often be removed whenever there is a siphon that isn't damaged, for example. So, yeah. We will find a piece to solve the siphon on part two, and thank you for watching.